um, and a big piece of the puzzle I often find is the is the lifestyle side. So we'll spend most of the um, presentations and the development around lifestyle. Um, most of the time that I, that I spent at Hawthorne with the development guys, um, we'd have a weekly academy session with the first of four year boys and we'd have different topics, whether it be around psychology, whether it be around nutrition, sleep, um, game day preparation from a mindset point of view. Um, a lot of a lot of the focus, I'd say 90% of those sessions on a weekly basis were revolved around things that you do away from the football club. Um, this is where we feel you can make um, the most amount of uh, change to your to make sure that you're getting the best results with your hard efforts at training. Um, so why is sleep important? It'll improve your um, reaction time, so you're less likely to make mistakes at training and uh, on on game day. You'll um, you'll have fewer injuries. So this so things like positioning your body in the contest, you'll do a lot better when you're fresh and you've had a good night's sleep and you've had a week of good night's sleep. Um, whereas if you're um, not reacting as well and, and not being able to judge the game as well, you're more likely to put yourself in more vulnerable positions. And as well as your, um, your landing mechanics um, and your stability are gonna be off. So that's gonna put more pressure on the joints of the body. So not only from an injury prevention point of view, but also from a health point of view, mental and physical, it's, it's really important. Switching over to performance, um, you're much more likely to have better overall performance. Other areas to, to maximise your sleep quality. Um, so like I mentioned before, the, the time that you're getting to sleep is really important. So we want to be getting uh, over two hours a night um, before midnight. So at least getting to sleep by 10 o'clock would be a good aim. Your um, bedroom should look very similar to a cave. So when the sun's down, it should be pitch dark. And then when the sun's rising, there should be some light starting to creep into the bedroom. And why this is important is in terms of your internal um, circadian rhythm, which is a, our um, body is connected to the sun and the moon. Um, and it's not something that we can out train. Um, that's why shift work is incredibly taxing on those that have done shift work before. Um, and it's, it's not something that you can, you, you can get the same eight, hour, eight hours in during the day and it's going to be the same as someone that slept eight hours at night. That's very different hormonally and, and in terms of inflammation 